A Cobleskill single mother of seven who served in the Navy was given the keys to a new car today. It was all part of the Progressive Insurance Keys to Progress program, which helps vets all across the country. News Channel 13 first interviewed Christy Wade last year after her house burned down a week before Christmas. Jackie Slater has a look at how the family's life has changed in the last year, bringing them to today. 2018 Toyota Sedan. For Christy Wade and her kids, this is much more than just a ride. With six boys and one girl, Christy's life is a bustle of sports and activities. Throw in the fact that she's now a college student herself. It's so quiet. The miles will rack up quickly. It's an overwhelming emotion that I feel, and I know the kids feel it too. In its seventh year, the Progressive Keys to Progress program gives away newly refurbished cars to deserving veterans in need. Partnering with Goldstein Collision, this van came stocked with gift cards for things like groceries and clothes, a booster seat for little Lily, some sporting equipment, and a new set of rules. And what's your name? Aaron. Aaron? Did mom tell you not to eat in the car? Uh, yep. <laughs> Smiles now, but flashback to December 2018. This was all that was left of the family's home. And this was just the beginning of a number of changes for them. Her story was an easy one for the Keys to Progress folks to get behind. Christy went into the Navy on September 10th, 2001, the day before 9-11. The following is part of the letter she wrote to them. We lost our home to a house fire on December 18th, 2018. Three months later, the children, children and I were placed in a safe house where we lived for the following five months. Finally, on August 1st this past year, we were able to secure an apartment through the VA program. Thanks to the outpouring of support from their community, the Wades have new hope, a new direction, and a new car to help make it all a little easier. It's just like it's where we're meant to be. Everything that has happened, I think, has happened to get us to where we are and where we're going. Reporting in Colony, Jackie Slater, News Channel 13.